closer. Yep. Oh, cool. Okay. The tales of the story all day long, and here's what we know. Officials at St. Mary's Hospital say the Legionella bacteria was found in the water. The man who died got sick from simply taking a shower. Tonight, the hospital continues to give out bottled water and continues to give sponge baths to patients. Emily Zangaro has reaction from the victim's family and a look ahead at what could prevent the situation from happening again. The cause of death on Scott Miller's death certificate reads AML, otherwise known as a form of leukemia. That was July 29th. His wife, Julie, says I'm that's wrong. Angry. I'm very angry because this didn't have to happen like this. He did not die from leukemia. He died from Legionella. Legionella is a bacteria often found in old pipes, and when inhaled by humans can cause a type of pneumonia called Legionnaire's disease. In the hours before her husband's death, Julie says a St. Mary's Hospital spokesperson told her Scott died from the bacteria. He contracted it in the shower. You know, when your immune system is zero, you're susceptible to many things, but we never expected this. The Kent County Medical Director says the contamination is common. Studies have found that 20 to 70 percent of hospitals have the bug in their water systems and patients can get sick. The facts have Jim Corbett doing his homework and looking for help. Since why 90,000 Americans die every year plus... Corbett says he dealt with disability claims during his 25-year-plus career with the Social Security Administration. He's also had family members suffer from hospital-acquired infections. A solution for him, House Bill 4158 legislation that would require all Michigan hospitals to report numbers of hospital-acquired infections on an annual basis. Publishing the numbers, then, I would think would give an incentive to hospitals. By comparing them with other hospitals, they would then maybe say, well, wait, we have twice as many as another hospital. Let's take a look at this and see what we can do. The bill has gone nowhere since introduced in January, but Corbett says he's pushing local legislators. Just the start of a fight one family is now stepping up to face. I will not let my husband die in vain. I will not let that happen. I need to fight for him. He fought and he fought, and he didn't deserve this. One national organization says hospital-acquired infections are the fourth largest killer in the United States. That's equal to deaths caused by AIDS, breast cancer, and car crashes combined. For more information, log on to our website at woodtv.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Zangaro, 24-Hour News 8. Thank you, Emily. St. Mary's is one of three hospitals in Grand Rapids. Each year, it